there is a report. You go through the review process. You've been kind enough. You sat there with us. We went through all the standards. Um, we've gone through them. Some things may have been met or not met. The Delmarva reviewer then completes a report. They enter it into a computer application. That report gets approved or review, first reviewed and then approved by a Delmarva manager to make sure everything's in there that they need to. And then the report gets completed and it is mailed out. You as a CDC representative who's receiving and having gone through this review gets a copy of the report. It's going to be important hopefully that we have your correct address. Whatever address we have in our system that we confirm for you is where we're going to be mailing that report to. Um, typically you're going to get that report roughly within 30 days of having had your review. I would suggest that if you're a CDC representative and you've gone through any kind of review or if you go through a review, mark your calendar as to when your review was and expect a report to come in 30 to 45 days. If for any reason you never get a paper copy of your report, um, the, one of the last slides that I'll be going through in this presentation will show you our customer service information. You just give us a call, we'll check our system, and even if it shows that it was mailed, we'll mail it again to make sure that you get your copy. The local Agency for Persons with Disability Area Office, the Tallahassee Office for APD, and the ACA, Agency for Healthcare Administration, also have the ability to review all the Delmarva reports that Delmarva completes, and they do so through a secure website. Um, they have to have all sorts of passwords and codes. Nobody can get into that website unless they have access, and it allows them to just be able to view that information electronically. So a copy of your report gets mailed to you, and it's available and accessible for the local uh, state offices and Tallahassee and Opta on their website. Tips. So maybe you just found out that you're going to get a CDC rep review with the Delmarva reviewer. Don't panic. The more organized you are, the easier it will be to help know what you have and what you are missing before we show up. Even if you haven't been identified for a review, hopefully the information that we're going through with you today will allow you to kind of just do your own record uh, check. Do your own self-assessment. Pull out all your CDC information. Take a copy of our tool, which is handout number two, and go through each of those standards and see, do I have this piece of paper? Do I have this piece of paper? What do I have questions about? Maybe I'm missing something. The more organized and the better you look before, you'll be ready before we even come out there to meet with you. For your background screening, make copies of anything you send. And for the old ones, hopefully if you were sending fingerprint cards, Live scan's not as difficult. You don't have fingerprint copies. A lot of times what representatives are telling us is I gave that to somebody. They have it. I had it, but I sent it off. It's kind of your personal responsibility now. Anything that you give away, make a copy of it so that you can show. If you're in the midst of trying to get background screening results and a reviewer happens to be out there and you can show due diligence and what you're trying to do in that process, it's going to help the reviewer understand where you're at and what efforts you're making to make sure you get your background screening documentation done. Make sure you have everything for every person or vendor you employ. Um, sometimes you come across where you have really good documentation for your employees who are not family members. But then you figure since they're family members, I don't need to have an employee packet. I don't need a job description from my husband who's working for my son because he's my husband. We don't differentiate. Everyone who is on your purchasing plan, who is identified and working in this process, has to have the same documentation of it as everybody else. Whether it's mom or dad who's doing the work, or a college student that you've hired, whoever it might be. You need copies of everything for every person, for every vendor. Track your five-year rescreening. Uh, keep track of when your uh, employee hire dates are. Keep employee folders on them. Set up a tickler system, possibly, for this, so that about three months before that's going to expire, you get out there doing a new live scan, get the local law and the affidavit, you start getting all that done ahead of time. You want to do it about three months before so that there's no lapse in coverage. Liken it to your insurance or your car insurance or your homeowner's insurance. You want to have that bill paid and done each year on an annual basis. You don't want any lapse in coverage with your insurance. There really cannot be any background screening lapse. If somebody's background screening hasn't expired and they haven't worked, and rather they're still working, you know, you're out of compliance at that point. You need to have that background screening in place. If one of your employees leaves, they stop working for you, and they come back to work for you, and it's six months later, you have to do their background screening all over again. The way the definition is, a 90-day break in service. If someone starts, stops working for longer than three months, their background screening has expired, and they need to start over again. This is a slide about some contact information for you. 
Uh, Delmarva has a customer service representative. Her name is Beth Townsend Strategias. There's her phone number, her fax number, and her email. We also have our website, which is down there. You can go and view any of our tools. Can you read that? Yes, I can read it through. This is our customer service representative. It's Beth Townsend Strategias. Her phone number is 1-866-254-2075. If you want to speak to Beth by phone, go ahead and give her a call. If you want to fax us information, you would dial 813-977-0027. For email, it is townz, so T-O-W-N-S-E-E -E at D-F-M-C dot org. That is her email address, and you can email her. Our website for Delmarva is www.dfmc-florida.org. Any of our review tools, the CDC tools, the handouts, and the PowerPoints from the training that I just did from our regional sessions is on our website. Uh, Del uh, Aaron and WaverProvider.com will also be posting this video and the handouts as well. The number is toll free? Yes, the phone number is toll-free. It's one eight six six. so no matter where you live in the state, it's a toll-free call to call our Del Marva office. Uh, if that's not available, we have plenty of helpful people that will help point you in the right direction and get you in touch with people that you need to. These are, again, some important websites to keep in mind. All of Del Marva's tools and procedures, if you want to know more about the non-compliance procedures, Del Marva contract, who we are, what we do, this is up here on our website. Again, Delmarva's website is www.dfmc-florida.org. CDC Plus website with APD can be found at APD's website, and that is apd.myflorida, which is one word, .com, and then you have a backslash where you put in CDC Plus and a forward slash and then a two forward slash CDC plus have that information it will take you to the CDC website for APD they have it's a very helpful website they have all their forms you need copies of timesheets you will need a copy of an employee employer agreement any of the information I've talked about today you can go there and get it it will also put you in touch and give you phone numbers for key CP CDC staff that you might need to talk to that is it. I want to thank you very much if you've taken the time to take a look at this training online and view this.